they celebrate it. You know, Neil deGrasse Tyson, Brian Greene, they all say it's the frontier of physics, even though physics is supposed to be guided by experimental evidence. But there is this whole community of mainstream physicists working on something that was never tested experimentally and doesn't have a chance of being tested in our lifetime. In the grand tapestry of the cosmos, an enigmatic interstellar visitor named Umiwamua wove their way into the scientific narrative. This celestial nomad, whose name translates to scout in Hawaiian, presented itself unexpectedly, causing a stir of excitement and fascination within the scientific community. Avi Loeb speaks of this cosmic oddity, an enigma that broke through the barriers of our celestial skies, causing ripples in the scientific community. We're diving into the mysteries of Umiwamua, the first interstellar visitor that graced our solar system, presenting more questions than answers. To truly grasp the significance of Umiwamiwa's appearance on the celestial stage, we must rewind the cosmic clock to a decade before its discovery. In those earlier days, astronomers made predictions about the observable universe, estimating that the telescope in Hawaii would not detect any celestial objects more extensive than a football field. These assumptions were based on the existing knowledge of space and the capabilities of the observational tools available at that time. However, the universe had other plans. Umiwamiwa boldly defied these predictions, venturing far closer to Earth than anticipated. This unexpected proximity to our planet offered scientists a rare and precious opportunity to observe and study this transient celestial guest. Avi Loeb, an astrophysicist, was captivated by this wanderer. He reflects on how conventional academia seemed to shy away from this subject, though the very nature of academia encourages the exploration of the unknown. They flagged it in Hawaii as a near-Earth object that w is worth their attention because the entire survey was geared around finding objects that can threaten humanity. You know, if they collide with Earth, there would be a huge uh, devastation, you know, we know the dinosaurs died mm -hmm. 66 million years ago, yep. we are smarter than they are, we have telescopes, they didn't look up, and they died, so humans have a better future because we can alert ourselves. Avi's proposition was simple, Umiwamiwa might be more than a natural space rock. Perhaps it was a product of intelligent design, a technological marvel crafted by an extraterrestrial civilization. The mere suggestion, however, stirred a storm of controversy and resistance from the scientific community. They questioned, criticized, and even ridiculed the notion. One of the most intriguing aspects of Umiwamiwa was its peculiar shape. It appeared remarkably flat and thin, a departure from the typical round or irregular shapes of asteroids and comets previously observed. As it tumbled through the cosmic abyss, its brightness fluctuated dramatically, resembling a leaf dancing in the wind and catching the sun's rays at varying angles. This unusual behavior immediately set Umiwamiwa apart as an extraordinary celestial entity deserving a closer, more meticulous examination. Adding to the intrigue was the mystery of its propulsion, or lack thereof. Umiwamiwa exhibited a type of propulsion not characteristic of natural space rocks. Conventional forms of propulsion linked to comets, such as gas or dust emissions, were notably absent. This led to the hypothesis that sunlight might influence its trajectory, akin to a sail catching the wind's push. Then, another interstellar object, 2020 so, followed suit, displaying similar traits, further bolstering the idea that Umiwamiwa might not be a singular celestial oddity. A rocket booster from the 1960s disguised as a space rock? The notion gains weight. But what if it's more? What if it's something else, something beyond our current understanding? The resistance surprised Avi. Shouldn't science, driven by curiosity and evidence, embrace the unknown? 
The clash of perspectives on approaching the mysterious object was a pivotal shard in our tale. It highlighted the struggle between holding on to established beliefs and venturing into the uncharted realms of the possible. Visualize a colossal sail or remnant of highly advanced extraterrestrial technology utilizing the sun's radiant energy to maneuver through the vast cosmic ocean. This concept opened up a realm of possibilities, hinting at the involvement of an extraterrestrial civilization capable of engineering such marvels. However, this notion remained a hypothesis, awaiting further evidence and substantiation, leaving scientists with fragments of a compelling truth, yearning to be assembled into a coherent narrative. At the heart of this cosmic enigma lay a fundamental question, who or what could be the architect of Umiwamura? Could it be a creation of advanced extraterrestrial engineering, a relic of a civilization far beyond the reach of our understanding? Despite the intriguing clues, concrete evidence remained elusive, plunging the scientific community into exhilarating uncertainty. Yet, Avi persisted, not deterred by the criticism. He advocated for rigorous investigation and further evidence gathering, adopting the valid scientific method. He compared this to the pursuit of understanding dark matter or exploring extra dimensions, plans with no experimental confirmation yet pursued with dedication. This enigmatic nature of Umiwamiwa led to a divergence of opinions within the scientific community. Some embraced the uncertainty, viewing it as an invitation to explore the unknown and venture into new frontiers of knowledge. They recognized the potential implications of this discovery and advocated for further investigation, driven by a thirst for understanding. However, others tried cautiously, reluctant to deviate from established paradigms and risk the upheaval of accepted scientific doctrines. The story doesn't end here. It's an open narrative waiting for more chapters. Umiwamiwa is a question mark lingering in the night sky, challenging us to look beyond what we assume to be true. Are we alone in this vast cosmos, or is there more to the story? With his determination and willingness to embrace the unconventional, Avi Loeb leaves us with this lingering thought. What if... In conclusion, the tale of Umiwamiwa serves as a compelling reminder of the boundless mysteries of the universe. It beckons us to question, explore, and remain open to the possibility that the cosmos may surprise us with phenomena beyond our current comprehension. As we stand on the verge of cosmic discovery, we eagerly await the next enigmatic visitor who may offer us a glimpse into the enigmas of the universe. In the quest for knowledge, the universe continues to be our most profound and beguiling teacher, forever inviting us to unlock its secrets.